All right, this is not really a video that I want to do, but somebody sent me the Satanic Temple's protest for First Amendment rights. So this is going to be my reaction and probably uh, me regretting every second of this. So without further ado... Oh, Lord. What the hell, man? What the fuck? <laughs> Why is he bright pink? What the hell's up with that? What did Jesus say? In the last days, there would be a war on the saints. Here's a clear example of the war on the saints. He's blowing them or what? I think the way the state has been trying to frame our battle is one of the Satanic Temple versus Arkansas, Satanists versus Christians. And what I'm oh gosh. The case. The hell's wrong with his eye? We're rallying for pluralism, this wall. real religious liberty. We are literally on the front lines in the war against encroaching theocracy. Encroaching theocracy. Satan itself has these children like they're flocking to Satan. You know, we want our children to get to heaven. We don't want them in hell for all eternity. Yeah, no shit. Okay, yeah, I did hear about this, but I haven't seen any videos on it. Okay, well, guess we're not going to Arkansas. Political activists who oppose What's the difference? The what? What the hell is going on? What in God's green earth is happening? Uh, gee, why can't you just keep it in your house, bro? An anthropomorphized winged goat figure associated with occult and mystical tradition. This is why I hate goats. Even though these activists don't actually believe what the <laughs> what the what they the pink like punk against God Satan Republicans belief in the devil oh gee oh oh they Ugh. harness the power of satanic imagery and symbolism why do they have tits what what's, what is what the hell is this man their latest like, target is Arkansas is the Ten Commandments what's wrong with your eye bro that's all I can see like as testament to our respect for well, I mean, they say devil worshippers are blind, so. So here it is, in all its glory, the offending Ten Commandments monument. It's in the surrounding grounds of the Capitol. It's protected, okay. as you can see, by these sturdy bollards, because the first day it was erected last summer. Yeah, she said erect. I, I don't know too much about demonology, but I know he's like one of the worst ones. But I mean, really, this is, is it to get the Ten Commandments taken down. Is it to get back? Uh, I would not want to be in the same room as this guy. Wider cause. The rise of theocratic efforts within American politics has been at play for generations now, but it's really coming to a head, you see, with the election of Donald Trump and the rise of evangelical nationalism. I think the more this happens, the more our numbers grow. So it's Trump's fault. Of course it's Trump's fault. Everything is Trump's fault. I mean, we can only fight one of these at a time, but the fact of the matter is, is that... The hell am I watching? Like, the satanic what is this? The... Effort in 2015. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with the Commandments monument from the ground? Monument of a profane statue on the grounds of the Arkansas. Thank God. Okay, well, at least somebody's got some sense. I mean, I'm not saying all people are for this kind of thing, but I mean, look how many people are. First Amendment rights and everything to do with literal Satan. While Lucian and the Satanic okay. Temple acknowledge they're using the specter of Satan, somewhat ironically, believers on the other side see this goat. The thing is just creepy. I don't even like to look at it. Like I hate goats as it is, but I mean, ugh. Lead to a lot of darkness and open a floodgate to hell. Honestly. I don't doubt it, woman. Apparently, I don't doubt it one bit. Couldn't get their permits in, in time. Then he's succeeded. And, uh, <laughs> Wait, hold on. When does? When do, okay, I don't remember. That's the first time I think I've heard of that before, but I mean, okay, I, I guess it makes sense. Lord, bless them on their journey. Bless them as they go into the hotel room. And we pray, Lord, it's a special blessing for her. So we see her tomorrow. She have a safe trip back. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. That was lovely. They prayed for us, guys, so we can't fail now. That's right. You're on the right team. Yeah. Yeah, if anything happens to him, he's got a GARP on his chest, so it's all good, brothers. You guys can think of. 
to find more people become comfortable but culturally identifying with their religions and realizing that they don't have to pretend they believe in things that are simply intellectually insulting today, that they can still have their ethics, their, their, their symbols, that they can still use this metaphorically to contextualize their lives, I think we'll find a lot of people identifying non-theistically with their religions. I think we're just a little bit ahead of the game. Uh-huh. Okay, so are you not doing the same thing? Am I wrong here? Like, what? What? Airbnb, the mood was decidedly anxious as he prepared to set off to join the rally. So you've had more threats than usual, personal threats. Yeah, that's my understanding. We have neo-Nazis coming to protest us. And we the neo-Nazis? Neo what? Really? KKK showing up, from what I understand. Have you ever worn a bulletproof vest before? No, I, I oh, have a bulletproof vest out. I think the odds of me getting shot are fairly slim, but just the same. I figure if I was laying down, bleeding out from a shot to the chest. I'd have been a little bit embarrassed thinking that I, I had a bulletproof sitting back at the house. I should, could have just worn it. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I will agree with him that. I mean, I have uh, body armor and, I mean, and I have firearms, so it's like, well, you better have them and not need them, but... <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the goth and, you know the the culture and you know the just the dark you know heavy metal kind of thing but I mean this is obviously I wonder who actually did they say who actually oh god that looked like Marilyn Manson was in there rally for the first amendment our very next speaker I know is long awaited by many of you myself included so I won't make you wait any longer it is my pleasure to introduce hmm. Lucian Greaves. And they're probably, look at this crap. Man, that's, uh. Thank you. <laughs> she keeps throwing the pink one. That's so stupid. I present to you Baphomet. Not something they should be proud of, man. Equality, tolerance, free inquiry, freedom of conscience, and reconciliation. What is wrong with these people with this stupid hair? What is there some kind of... Alright, hold on. I gotta, I gotta pause this. Okay, so everyone was pissed about the rebel flag. Literally everyone. Everyone was pissed about the rebel flag. Amazon and all of them banned it. And here we are with a freaking... Demon statue thing and oh gosh, what a ah! This uh, all right. Let's let's keep going. A few more minutes. Public grounds where other monuments of religious significance are pre-existing. And this guy in the medieval get up. What's does not represent a conflict, but a resolution. What would you say to some of the people here? today who are terrified of you guys because they think the gates of hell are going to open. It just looks like somebody who plays too much World of Warcraft. Dive in and give it a what is that thing in the background? What is that with the blue hair? <laughs> and with that, the Baphomet statue was packed up back on the flatbed truck to head home to Salem, Massachusetts. Although it wasn't erected today, yeah. that bringing the monument onto state grounds proved their point. <laughs> what is with this dude? Why is he? Satanic temple members at a bar that evening. Dead way. Okay. Alrighty. Watch more explanation. Um, let's not and say that we did. Okay. Well, that was just awful. Uh, I. Okay. So I didn't know that some of these Satanists were a bunch of SJW wannabe rocker looking guys. But all right. Oh God. That. Uh, that guy with the pink demon mask. I. Uh, oh gosh okay well that was interesting um this is definitely sparking some debates i had imagined about it but i didn't really dive too much into this but yeah you know, the gosh what is this world coming to <laughs> this is just awful all right well there's 15 minutes that i'll never get back so i hope you've enjoyed it <laughs>